Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week we're playing a Mana Gorgeous deck, a red Mana Gorger, uh, not the green one. This one's a Phoenix, and that's because of Jumpstart Horizons. Uh, thanks to Jumpstart Horizons, we got a new card in Mana Gorger Phoenix, but on top of that, we are going to be playing the typical red shell of, like, you know, kind of like, well, not your typical, this one's way different, it's a little more discard heavy. You're playing Faithless Looting, uh, you're playing Blazing Root Walla, you've got Mana Gorger Phoenix, and you've got Seasoned Pyromancer. All, uh, most of these are new from Jumpstart Horizons, and they all really, really synergize with each other quite well so blazing root walla will often just discard it to like you know either uh looting or or maybe season pyro and it's a free spell and then on top of that we just get to keep bringing back mana gorger phoenix uh so yeah all around a very aggressive deck not as burn heavy way more creature heavy so let's see how we do with this deck on the ladder Magic the Gathering's new set, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, is up now at cardkingdom.com for order, so head on over there to get your adventures started. I'm keeping this. Magmatic Channeler does a lot here for us, so yeah, okay. No, I'm, I'm gonna just go for Bomat Courier into probably discarding Blazing Root Walla, 420 Root Walla, if you would. All right, Swole Warden, that's gonna be a problem at some point. You know what? I think I'm willing to offer this trade. Yeah, I'm willing to offer this trade, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so now we have Magmatic Channeler. I just can't let them keep Soul Warden. That card does too much against us. All right. Well, that's equally miserable, but... Well, I guess I'm taking a mountain that I can't use, but... All right, well, let's see how this goes. This next part's gonna be kind of bad for us. Yep, Righteous Valkyrie, that's a good one. I think we're just gonna, can we beat this deck? I'm actually not really sure if we can or can't. Ah, boy, that's kind of a pickle. Uh, discard two cards, sure, that's fine. Uh, we'll send that damage upstairs, I guess, auto pay. All right. Oh, here comes Coco. Oh, thankfully, though, that still hits them a lot of life. Oh my god, they're gonna gain so much life back. I don't know if I can beat that, because now they'll have another eight life. Oh my lord. Um, yeah, that's not gonna do a lot for us. I guess let's take the DRC, sure, why not? Play to our outs. I don't know what those are. Oh boy, all right, let's just concede, that's it, they're, they're gonna gain too much life, GG's. No one drop, but we do have a pretty decent two drop, so I, I, I will try this, in hopes that they're not a control deck. But I haven't seen that much control, right? I mean, I've seen a lot of mono white, which by the way, mono white has had a huge uptick, and I think it might be just correct to be, like, playing control again. Because <laughs> control dunks it, or at least blue-black control. Uh, let's find out if you got it. Opt, sure. So they're Jess guy. Oh, man. Ah, that sucks. Okay. At least they can't Lightning Helix this. That's the good news. Oh, wait. Is this Phoenix? Oh, it is. All right. Wow, what a really good discard. All right. Well, nice job, buddy. I want to play the Bomat Courier. All right, now we pass. They are a Phoenix deck here, so that's gonna be slightly concerning. Sprite Dragon, not the end of the world for us. They have to shock here. Unholy Heat, sure, all the same. Same deal, same deal. All right, good. Let's get rid of that card right meow. I want to find another instant or sorcery spell, so I might fire off Season Pyro. I mean, we have Artifact, Creature, Instant, so we need a sorcery or a land. 
All right, so that's three spells. They get their phoenixes back. That'll be slightly problematic, won't it? That will be. That is three phoenixes, so that's nine damage. I'm down to 18 here. Oh, boy. That is not looking good for us, but... Oh, they, they might have four phoenixes, actually, after this. Oh, no, not all four? How unfortunate. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Nice, nice, nice. That's really bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. We have to pick off one of these. Can I find a way to discard that? No, probably not. Okay. I think I have to take the land here. Play Seasoned Pyromancer. I can block one of the arc lights, putting me down to six. If they go off and like fire off a ton of spells again, expressive iteration. All right, well, let's hope for the better. I do, if I somehow survive, right? If I somehow survive here and they don't just have like a lightning ax or something or two phoenixes, if they have, ah, oh, they have two phoenixes. Good game, good game. GG's, GG's. I'm gonna keep, this seems good. We have DRC. We're on the draw, unfortunately, but uh, how much can I allow that? I mean, whatever, you have an elf. It looks like it's an elf deck. Or not. Should I block this? I feel like I should. Yeah, I am going to block that, believe it or not. Uh, that's land creature instant. All right, land or elf again. Let's just do one so that we get the sorcery into the graveyard. Okay, now we attack. How do I go about this? So I like the phoenix, but I don't think I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna just fire off the looting first. No, I want that on top. I want that on top. Wow, that's really good actually. Uh, Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else but just play Ramunap here. I could draw two more, yeah, I think I am. Let's go to combat. I, I have to wonder, is this, is it smart to go all in? I don't think it is, because I think the opponent might have, oh, never mind, they're that deck. Okay, that's fine. Like, they look like they could have been mid-rangey, so I was a little bit worried. Um, Them having a Regisaur isn't great news for us, but okay. I think we just take the seven, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's fire this off. That's super solid, because we get use out of the uh, Root Walla, the Blazing Root Walla, aka 420 Root Walla. And let's get some damage in, I guess. While they're still trying to use Coco. Okay, here comes Coco. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's get this last card out of their hand first. All right, so before they go to combat here, this is where, this might be better, right? Because it has trample. Yeah, let's do this now. Uh, I might need that. I might need that. That's fine. Yeah, I might need that. I don't, I don't mind the rotting Registor because the Registor is just going to continue to make him discard cards. That I can deal with. Okay. Double Registor is not ideal. I'll admit that. Uh, throw the land away. I don't think I want any- Okay, GG's, I guess we got there. Wow! Yo, I- I want it. I want it. I want it. This is pretty good, right? We get to Faithless Loot next turn. Uh, or do we get to Faithless Loot next turn? I mean, I don't know if I can let them have a three drop. No, I- I've got a setup. I've got a setup. I gotta hope I draw a land. I think we can beat Grawl. Grawl Shamans. That's what it looks like it is. All right. I will cast that actually. Um, do I hit that? No. Okay, creature, sorcery. All right, pass. So they play stomp, if I recall. I just need an instant speed spell. Uh oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, okay. Well, 
Sure hope we find that uh, very useful. Um, fiery temper? I'd have to also discard it, but we'll worry about that later. That needs to die. I don't know if we can beat that. That's actually like kind of unbeatable. Holy cow. Dude, that's a big one. So I play a land. I cast it on that card. That card is kind of busted. Throw that away. Sure. So I still need to hope they whiff entirely on the rest of their deck. Unlikely, but oh, Rune Blaster. Oh, Rune Blaster, what? That's a Shaman? Oh, okay, word. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> wow, that's good to know. <laughs> I guess we take the land? Oh, jeez. This is a bit awkward because the ox will kind of cancel out everything else we have. So sorcery, land, creature. I mean, I think it, it eats the whole graveyard, so I gotta start all over. Um, sure. Now I have to try to block? Oh, jeez. This isn't great. Uh, good news, though, is that we do have the Shatter Skull Smashing. Uh, that, that should help make things a little bit easier for me, but I'm not sure by how much yet. Let's hope they don't draw their Rage Channeler. If they draw their little Shaman 1-1 one, one Lord thing, that's that's gonna be too much for us to keep up with. That, that one right there. Okay, that's GG's. Can't keep up. Good game. I will, once again, let's try to keep a game. Uh, like, we're playing against decks that are just either infinitely faster they seem to be just so much faster. And granted that it is best of one, so you kind of have to be. I'm very curious as to what, we have no way to catch up. Oh boy. It's Jeskai, all right, so probably want to just play Magmatic Channeler then. Oh no, it might be Phoenix. It might be Phoenix, it looks like it is. Uh, you know, I'll take, I'll take the Channeler. This might just be the Cascade combo, though. Yep, there it is. Okay, so what are they? What could they hit here? I mean, I hope they just hit another <laughs> Tybalt's Trickery or something like that, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, wow, we got lucky. Cool. But they could do this again. Oh, that's so problematic. Okay. Uh, all right. Throw that away. We have land? We, you know what, let's get the Shatter Skull smashing in there in the Phoenix. Uh, I'm actually gonna play Mana Go or the, uh, the Seasoned Pyromancer first. Can't cast that, unfortunately, so can't do anything decline. That just goes into the yard. I guess let's start getting some damage in. It's not a lot, but something, I guess. So that is two trickeries, right? So they're not likely to fizzle again. They would have to get really unlucky here. So we just have to, whatever they hit isn't like an Ugin. Like that one. Wow, that's unlucky. But I guess on the brighter side, if I can just discard my hand. Wow, that's so brutal. All right, let's hope we get a land now. No, the, la the land is exactly the only thing we can hit. Uh, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. Sure. I don't actually want that on the board right now. I wish that were a May. I cannot cast any more cards. Oh, I guess that's good. Oh no, I can't do anything about this. Oh, that's so bad. Right, I can't discard any of this. Yeah, I can't do anything about it because I have this very, very awkward part here. Oh man, that's not what I wanted. That's really not what I wanted. So there goes all my cards again. So they cast this one more time. What do they hit? I don't know, I, I need them to hit like nothing again. Or something really bad. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll send that three here at this Ugin. Pay, so next turn they're gonna be able to do some more cascading. Ugh. 
All right, pass. We have Hazaret. That's the brighter side of this. We have a Hazaret, so we can just immediately smack in. One, two, three. That's three Tybalt's trickeries. I just gotta hope they hit an Ugin again. All right, they have to hit an Ugin again, or something that's just irrelevant to me. Not Ulamog. I need to stop calling out cards, is what I, <laughs> I'm getting from this. I need to legitimately stop calling out cards. Alright, alright, you got it, buddy. GG's. <laughs> alright, this seems really good of a start. If I go Faithless Looting, pitching both of the Root Wallas. Nah, I'm still gonna go for those. So that's like six damage in the face, right? That is. No, wrong button. Okay, there we go. Auto pay, yes, thank you. We still have Faithless Looting to discard Blazing Root Walla, 420 Root Walla. Oh, nice, we got there. I will keep. I think we get in with the Bomat Courier here, see what we can do with it. Next turn, we go for the Magmatic Channeler, I guess. Uh, is this a Phoenix deck? Or is this also a Blazing Root Walla deck? We going for 420 Root Walla? Oh. All right, so it looks like it's some kind of Phoenix deck. Yep, all right, it's Phoenix. Do we have a fast enough start against this opponent? All right, that's fine. Let's do that now. That's actually a really good land to draw. I mean, it's tapped right now, but that's fine. Let's see what the opponent does here. Expressive iteration. Do they have a phoenix? I don't see one yet. All right, they needed a land pretty bad. Um, what do I want to do about that? That's fine. We just attack. Everybody just goes into combat here. That's four cards drawn. I don't mind that. Go ahead. Pop off. They need to find a phoenix or something to happen right now. I don't think that's what they're looking for. Oh, it's Dragon Storm. Okay. Let me think here. That's three, five, seven, eight, ten. Okay, I have more than enough. Yep, that's more than enough to get him. GG. And we got him to negative two. Wow, that was close. We didn't do too bad there. Uh, we went about even. Uh, I feel like <laughs> this deck might be too fair. As weird as it sounds, it seems a little too fair. Sure, we had some of those games where we went looting double root walla. Sure, right? Like uh, looting into the root wallas was fun, but it just doesn't have enough ways to deal with, like, let's just say, what about Phoenix decks, right? Like, so were you hoping that Pillar of Flame helps us out a little bit? Uh, but yeah, maybe I do want more Magmatic Channelers and more ways to loot through our deck. Uh, the Hazard is just another way to discard and to also get more, a little bit more reach and a hasty, resilient threat as Jeskai is always running prominent and it's nice to have something that doesn't die to just, well, Helix. So, uh, yeah, the deck does need some reworking, but it just felt fair. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Single Scoop. As always, I do appreciate y'all coming back, supporting every video, all the content on Goldfish. Make sure you leave a like, a sub, hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video goes live. Other than that, you can find me on social media at The Asian Avenger for Twitter, Instagram, and of course, twitch.tv slash The Asian Avenger, where I play MMOs, Final Fantasy, horror games, and magic, and all of that together. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.